Now one more tip that I would like to show you is if you noticed earlier when you created your text box that you want to have at the bottom, if you noticed, if you drag across, it just out of the blue appears. And if you want it to look a little more professional and not just like go away or just appear out of the blue, you could add a little transition to where it would kind of smooth in, smoothly come in a little bit better where it would almost fade in. That's not difficult to do and I'll show you how to do that. And if you do it to the first one, then when you duplicate that in the future, so I'm gonna go in here and, and uh, let's say I wanna delete this one. And so if I do it to this one, whenever I duplicate it in the future, drag, if I drag it, hold down control and drag it across or option on a Mac and drag it across, it will maintain that little transition, that fade in and fade out. To do that, it's really not difficult at all. I'm going to actually select it so it's active. But I'm gonna go up here to effects, up here at the top. So let me shake the cursor here so you see. We're gonna to go to effects. We're gonna go over here and if there's anything in the way, if, you're, if you had the, um, the other box open earlier that was up there that had the, um, the subtitles, the titles and everything, just move that out of the way or close it up. But go over here and choose video on the left over here, video transitions. And there's a lot of different ones that we could use. We could, uh, but we don't want to use a page peel just for that to come in. We don't want the whole page to get peeled away or anything. We just want this thing to kind of come in and to smoothly fade in. So we're going to choose dissolve. And with dissolve, we're going to choose the cross dissolve. So it will just kind of come in and, and just fade in there. So I'm just going to click it and just drag that and let off right on the edge. And notice that it put a little brown thing down there. Now watch whenever I drag across there. I'm, I'm not even gonna drag across, I'm just gonna hit the play button. And watch how it kind of fades in. Hopefully you saw that. Once again, I'll do this. Watch towards the bottom and watch how it kind of fades in there. Smoothly. We wanna do it to the same on the right side also, so that way it will fade out too. So I'm gonna go back over here to cross dissolve Click on the cross dissolve and just we're just going to click it and drag it. And we're going to drag it over to the right hand side of the box and notice how it automatically kind of snaps there. And then once again we see this brown thing. So if we go in here and I'm going to hit the play button so you can see that it will then fade out gently. Much more professional looking. So if we go in we can hold down once again, control, or in my case, on a Mac option, and just drag over and let off where we want the next text box to be. If you'll notice the same deal, if I hit play, it will fade in gently, and then it will also fade out. Once again, for review purposes, if you want to go in and change that text, double click this box, and you should be able to just go in there, and as long as you have the cursor um, you should be able to click in there and get rid of any of the old text, delete it out, and then retype whatever you want. You may have to zoom in to be able to see a little bit better, but uh, you can make the screen bigger here or whatever, but you can just go back in there and start typing whatever you want at that point. And that way you don't have to go uh, do anything different. You've just used that same text box again, basically. So test this out, try this a little bit and see if you can get it to work. Should, everything should work just fine for you. You just have to watch very carefully each of these tutorials to know exactly what to do.